Once I was doodling because it helped my anxiety and my teacher told me to put it away. Yeah, that's fair. I'm sorry, you're gonna hate me. This is a mutual of mine. You know I love you. Um, but you need to understand something that's kind of difficult. Just because something helps your anxiety does not mean it's going to help you concentrate. Now being calm, cool, and collected is important when it comes to focusing in class, right? But like take this ball for example, like a fidget. If I hand a student to this, they're gonna be happier because it's something that they can touch and play with and be entertained by. But just because they are happier doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be concentrating better. Now if I have a student that is very, very anxious, something like an ASD profile, autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, and they have very good auditory processing, as in they could look at a drawing and also pay attention auditorily, then yes, I'm going to allow them to do something like doodle. For a lot of my students, there's no way they could draw and concentrate at the same time. It's not going to be possible for them. Now, again, there are, you know, three to four percent of students. Yes, they have the auditory comprehension to be able to draw, work on a drawing, and simultaneously be able to pay attention with perfect understanding. But it is rare. Most students cannot doodle while paying attention. Most students can't play with a ball while listening need pretty brilliant auditory comprehension. I don't think your teacher should have taken it away because that seems like it's going to promote conflict. I'd be like, hey, what a beautiful drawing. That's so amazing. Can you finish it after I'm done explaining this? That's how I would handle the situation. Personal opinion, I hope this helps.